Hi there, it's Shell. Hi guys. And Clint. Hey guys. <laughs> so, um, today we're going to show you guys a little something different. This is some medicinal plant. And this is known as plantain. Let's see. Sorry, I'm kind of <laughs> making sure. Here it is. There it is. Okay. So this is the leaf, and this is a narrow leaf plantain, and this is edible. It's a backyard weed is what they call it. You can pick it, and you can eat it in salads. You can make a uh, make an ointment out of it, but if you're like in the garden or something, and you get stung by a wasp or a bee, chew it up, and then just kind of put it on your um, spot like the bee stung you and it'll take the pain away pretty quick but we want to show you guys how to make a salve because that's what we do but let me show you so if you look at the leaf <clears throat> and you know there's all kinds of places you can look but there's also a broad leaf plantain and it's just a fatter leaf but look at all the veins in there and they're pretty strong uh, veins and then here is the seed pod. So when you're looking for it, you know, a lot of times the seeds will be up and they're kind of long. Let's see if we can get that. There you go, like that. And you can kind of see them, the seed pods. And that's kind of one giveaway. But uh, they say if you can find the broad leaf, to use that over the narrow leaf even though I've never seen a difference I don't know if there's more uh, and I couldn't find a difference on the internet but uh, yeah so I just wanted to show you this Clint got a bag or so a while back and we're gonna show you guys how to prepare it see you in a minute hey guys so I found some broadleaf plantain at this other locate we're at so it's just in the backyard but let me show you the difference sorry but i picked one here it is let me zoom back so we'll be able to focus i'm actually on my computer my camera let's see is it going to focus so yeah here's the broadleaf plantain and it's a lot just fatter but it still has those uh, spines, or what are they called? I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah, those. Okay, we got the plantain uh, washed and dried. It cannot have any water whatsoever. If it does, it will mold. So, I got two jars, and what we're supposed to do, what I'm going to do is just stick it in the jar, and you really, I think maybe we're only going to have one jar. So I had a, you're supposed to muddle this. So I don't know. You know what? Let me grab her uh, mortar and pestle. I think it will work better. I don't want to run the risk of breaking the jar. I'll be right back. I have plum forgot. I actually bought Shell a really fancy one and she never uses it she doesn't it sits as a, it's a decoration but i had bought one uh for my homemade bread i do uh oh um uh, i do flaxseed uh a meal and then uh wheat germ uh but the wheat germ isn't as uh oh what would you say it's more coarser than I like so I bought this to to uh, crush my wheat germ and you know this doesn't have to be like a paste sorry guys whoops sorry there we go uh, sorry I, so it doesn't have to be a paste you just want to get the Kind of break it you know down a little bit and the thing with plantain is it is edible you actually uh can uh 
uh, put it like in salads. They're fresh when it's fresh. The thing with plantain, though, is it is very uh, uh, chewy. I guess would be fibrous and chewy. Um, so it's yeah. I wouldn't want to eat it, but uh, you know you can chew up if you're out and about. You can always chew it up and put it on. You know. So, but just really just want to. So. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm making a mess, but hey, that's okay. We ain't craft, we ain't doing anything if we're not making a mess. So, but yeah, I bought this to do my wheat germ. I have a coffee, a coffee grinder, but I really don't like grind. Um, doing that stuff because it's just a pain to have to try to wash it and so I just use this just for the flour and I haven't baked bread for a while I usually with Shell you know she's uh, eating a little bit healthier low low lower calorie bread than what I make so I really don't make it very often anymore you know, there was a time we'd probably go through a couple uh, loaves a week or so. A week and a half, maybe. They're pretty good size loaves. So. Sis had bought me a uh, cast iron bread pan, so I bake my bread in cast iron bake pans, and it's, boy, it just makes for such a nice bread. And really, you do want to put, you know, fill it up. And, but that's what it so far it's going to look like. So. This stuff grows everywhere in Dolores. We had some in our yard, but we haven't had it this year whatsoever anywhere. So I don't, we don't quite know what's going on with that, you know. But in Dolores, there it is. They got the broad leaf, and this is the thin leaf plantain. So, but yeah, they've got it everywhere down there, and they don't use any, uh, any poison or anything on their lawns and their parks and stuff. So, you can go to it, but. Uh, I found this batch, you know, at a different spot, not in the park, where there wasn't, like, dogs and stuff, so. But it's, a plantain is, this plantain is considered a weed, but it's an amazing plant. If you read up on it, is what we suggest you do, and you need, you know, you learn about it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing, uh, this stuff is so I've had to use it in this form when I, I I've been stung several times with wasps so I've chewed this chewed a leaf up and put it on my sting you know but I've been stung quite a few times so I'm flying boogers really uh, like to sting me all the time. Hi, car. What you doing, baby? So, yeah, we had just enough for one jar. So, that's good and, uh, muddled so we use grapeseed oil <coughs> sorry guys uh, the reason why is grapeseed oil does not uh, uh, it doesn't go rancid we had uh, we have over a gallon of of plantain oil but it was part of it was olive oil and the other part was grapeseed oil shell didn't realize and she mixed them 
so really it's all rancid now it still works but you know so we just go ahead and just do the grapeseed oil and these are 24 ounce bottles and I think I told you my jar is a quart jar so So what we do is now we, uh, that's full enough right there. I uh, have to put a lid on it and a um, set, what you do is you set it in the window. Uh, you know, you can set it in the window in the sun or, but uh, uh, put it in there for, uh, we leave it set for six weeks. So, uh, we do make double strength batches, so, uh, what we do with a, if we're in a double strength, after the six weeks, what we do is, uh, drain the oil out, and then discard the plantain, fill the jar up, and then put the oil back in, and then that helps it to be a double strength plantain, and then we will also mix it with, uh, uh, once it's all done, the 12 weeks are done, we mix it with beeswax to make a uh, uh, salve, I guess is what you would call it, that kind of thing. Uh, and it does, it's it's an amazing weed, it really is. Uh, but, well, that's it for now, guys. I, we're going to let you go for now. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So, today we are going to make um, the actual, what's it called, ointment. <laughs> uh, so, your oil has been sitting for at least six weeks. Uh, this one has been sitting, you know, for a lot longer than that. And then you go ahead, you drain it, strain it, and then, you know, discard the plantain leaves. And then just put it in a, this is all food safe, so that's not a problem. Put it in just a, a good sized pan. And turn it on kind of low heat. And then I'm going to add some beeswax to that. And I found that I really like, sorry, you can see that, but that's no big deal. I really like uh, beeswax pebbles, or whatever they're called. And I typically like um, like an eighth of a cup per cup. So this was about four cups. So I'm going to put in a half a cup of beeswax. So, sorry I didn't get all that over there, did I? Because that's how we roll. <laughs> uh, not in there, but keep her on track. Yeah, Clint's not in here. He's not feeling good. Yesterday in reality was July the 4th and we went to our friends last night and get home and sleep until after midnight. So this is a um, quarter inch, quarter cup. And then, but these pebbles are so nice to measure. You can use like a block or whatever, but you know, maybe by weight if you wanted to. And then you just want to kind of heat it up until those melt, which shouldn't take all that long. And then while that's heating up, I am going to share with you what we store it in. Uh, so this is like an antibiotic ointment. And it's, you know, kind of similar to Neosporin. We think it's just like a, you know, make your own Neosporin. And by making it into an ointment, it's something you can keep long term. So I think that's really nice. Um, you know, of course, you can use the leaves, you know, um, fresh during the summer and stuff, but how are you going to use them in the winter? And so that's why we make this. It's really exceptional for scratches and bites. 
like um, wasp bites, bees bites, bee bites, bee bites, and um, cat scratches. And then we actually had a guy who, who cut himself almost to the bone. Wasn't that right? Almost to the bone. And he, Clint had some of this on hand and gave it to him. Yeah. And he had almost no scar. So, I mean, you can use it for anything. And, you know, it's just kind of make your own. Clint has used it on spider bites with no scarring, like really bad spider bites. And, um no scarring there so that was that was good because they were bad bites and then what I like to use is these containers sorry <laughs> that have just a screw on lid so these are a little bit bigger than what I uh, want to use this time but I do have some of these little ones so they're kind of let's say they're my, maybe an ounce or so so you just want to make sure they're clean they're sterile and then at one time I got these and these are so hard to open because they just slide off but they're kind of annoying <laughs> it's kind of you know like the old lip balm things and you just pull and pull and pull and you can't get it so it kind of is really you know frustrating and I'm always like giving it to Clint here honey can you open this for me so and a little bit of this goes a long way like um baby girl was scratching she's at that age right now so she's scratching and she's playing and I had all kinds of scratches on my hand you know just baby scratches that typically would scratch and itch for um, a few days or a few hours at least and I put that on and I can't even feel it so I just rubbed some of the oil on the ointment is going to stay longer than the um, going to see that's already melted and then I just turn it off and fill those up so it's really simple but the ointment's going to stay on your skin a lot longer it's really good for like chap lips and stuff you can definitely do a research you know however you want to do so let me get a little scoop and we'll just scoop it into our little jars so and then when you're washing it just run it under some hot water it's going to melt it right away and it's going to be just fine so let me wipe my little scoop off. And I'm going to fill up these little ones first. Just because I um, really, you know, like that size. I mean, the bigger size is fine, but I think it kind of dries out, you know, after a while. And look at it, it's already sitting up. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's, let's see if this one has, it has wax on the edge. So it doesn't take long to make these. The longest part is the waiting, you know, for it to, but you can see there's a little bit of wax right here, so. And then it just has a, a screw on lid. And if it melts, you know, remelts or whatever, then just heat it up again, pour it in here. And sometimes if we have like a lot of plantain, we'll strain the um, plantain out like at a week. I mean like at about four weeks. And then use that oil and make like a extra strength version. So we'll like put fresh plantain in there if we have access to plantain. And you know kind of make like a super strength, extra strength plantain. So they seem to set up pretty quick. And you can mess around with the beeswax and see what, you know, you prefer the best. We just kind of like it into a, you know, a thin salve. Not one that you're kind of digging through or anything. I'm trying to set this aside on my <laughs> stove. <laughs> so I might need more of these, huh? Let's see how much the big containers hold, the bigger. But I think, you know, the smaller ones, you can keep a lid on it until you're ready to use it. And it's not going to dry out as quickly. Whoa. As. And sometimes we'll carry like an extra one or two with us. And then if somebody, you know, gets bit by a, a wasp or something, we'll just give it to them, you know. 
we like having it on hand so you know we don't mind sharing it with others either so but you know you probably have everything or it's easy to get everything you have you want because the plantain is like a backyard weed so it's kind of nice to just hop in your backyard and look around for it and I was able to give somebody some pointers this week about it because I was trying to do the introduction you know so let me grab a couple more of those the bigger ones and what I do is you know I used to do stuff like this all the time so I have a big stash of these I keep them in a plastic Rubbermaid in plastic bags covered with a lid just so you know no hair or no critters and I've had them in my craft room but I think I'm fixing to move them back out to the craft shed just because there's no sense in you know leaving them Ew. makes more room in here for me I think I'm gonna need one more But I was telling someone, you know, I got stung by a wasp, and I put this on there, the oil, and within a minute, it, the pain was gone. It was really, you know, really nice. So, try to find one more spot <laughs> that's somewhat level. Okay, there's not much left, so uh, I guess I'll just... I don't see any more small containers, so I'm just going to pour the rest in here. And a little, like I said, a little goes a really long way. And we'll see. I think that's going to be just fine. Oh, maybe it'll fit. Oh, cool. So I have another full one. So that's cool and I'm going to let these cool and I'll come back and show you guys how it looks when we have the lids on them and how um, set up it is, you know, with the um, beeswax that we use. So see you in a minute. Okay guys, um, I just popped this in the fridge real quick just to kind of get it to set up but see how it is. We, like I said, we really like this and actually I have a mosquito bite or some kind of bite on my leg. I need it too when you're done. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop some of that on my leg. That little Gracie Lynn tore my leg up. Yeah, it really did. And um, like I said, this is fabulous for um, cat scratches. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, if you're... But see how it just kind of... It's not... I mean, if you needed like a lot for like uh, poison ivy or something, you could just kind of scoop some out. It's not super hard. The first time I think I put a quarter of a cup per cup or something, and that was really hard. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't we really like that. the eighth of a cup per cup. So um, I hope you guys give this a try. Uh, let me know. Uh, come join us on Facebook. You know, we like to do a lot of things like this during the winter. I mean, during the summer to prepare for winter. So we buy, you know, it's kind of, what's it called, foraging for, yeah, you know, fresh herbs. And, yeah, we're also going to be doing a cough syrup that we'll show you guys. But, you know, do your own research. We're no doctors or anything, but do your own research. See if it's something you want to do. It's pretty simple. I mean, you just pick the leaves, wash them, make sure they're really dry. Kind of uh, chop them up, stick them in a... Macerate. Yeah, macerate them with some... Um, oil in a jar let it sit six weeks or so and then easily make it into a salve so yeah. anyways guys thanks so much for watching uh i hope you guys give this a try and uh yeah come share it with us on facebook we are uh the rambling crafters with an s on facebook we do have a link below so thanks for watching and i hope this was helpful for somebody oh and it's really great for burns yeah it's really good yeah so Thanks look for watching. Yeah, it. look it up, read about it, and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.